Hey YouTube, welcome back to Plan Build Play. Today I have another tool review for you. I just picked up this Wen portable bandsaw and some blades for it. I thought I'd put out a video of uh, setting it up and testing it out on a few projects. So here's what's included in the package. You get the saw itself, a couple Allen or hex wrenches, the instructions, along with one blade. The blade is kind of tucked into the, the styrofoam, so if you get one of these, make sure you don't throw it out accidentally. I also did pick up a couple DeWalt blades, just because I wasn't sure how long this one would last. This saw only costs about 120 bucks compared to some of the other brands. We're in the 300 range, so hopefully this will, will do the job. Alright, so I have the blade installed now. It's pretty easy to do without any tools. On the other side there's a handle and it just moves one of the wheels in. Then you slide the blade around the wheels and along all of the, uh, the ball bearing guides. When the blade's in you just put the handle towards the tighten side and you're ready to go. So this does have a variable speed motor Here's the, the adjustment. It does not have any power on lock, so you always have to use the, the trigger. And this does have a fairly noisy 10 amp motor, so I'll turn the volume down on the, the video when I'm running it. So the first thing I'll be testing this out on is a aluminum wheel. I do have my bench top bandsaw, but it's a bit harder to clamp in there. So I'll be using the portable one on this. The edges are about quarter inch thick, aluminum, and the spokes are about three quarters inch thick. Here are the results from the first test. Even going through three quarters inch aluminum, you still get a pretty clean cut. This is my first time using a portable bandsaw, so it's kind of a learning curve, but uh, it does kick back a lot more than I was expecting. And if you try to back the blade out of a cut, it might just pull the blade off like you saw in the first cut. Also using the blade guide helps quite a bit. So hold your workpiece against the guide and it'll stop the, the saw from kicking back on you. Next up I'll try to cut a, cutting some steel tubing in half.
So cutting this in half works pretty quickly, but one thing I did notice was the motor will end up getting in the way of your cut pretty quickly. Uh, there's only about a 5 inch opening until you hit the motor. And if you look down the blade, there's only about a half inch between the blade and the motor. So if you're cutting something like 2 inch tubing, it'll end up hitting the pipe if you're trying to split it more than a few inches down. So overall this has been working out pretty well. Uh, it does cut really quickly after getting the hang of it. Especially on the, the top speed. Uh, the only thing I would like to see added would be a power on lock for the trigger. As well as a way where the motor doesn't get in the way of the cuts. Uh, all the cuts in this video were using the original blade that came with the saw. I didn't really have anything to use the Zewalt blades on yet. If you have any ideas of anything else to test this out on, uh, toss them in the comments and I'll put another video out. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more. If you have ideas for videos, toss them in the comments.